look at today's video. Today's video, I'm gonna be putting up a building light. A light. Not this one, that was in a different video. This one, on the porch. It's a high pressure sodium. The photo cell probably doesn't work, but I got a separate one already hooked up. Oh, there's my girl. Uh, looking for my girl. Uh, look at Tilly. You love that little window, don't you, girl? Uh, Alright, guys, we're gonna take this to the shed and get all that junk I got on it, like this wood off. Hey, guys. Thank you, Mom. Hey, you always need it. Can you put the little platform there? Just a little platform. Oh, my God. Oh, man. What is it? I have to knock out one of these things. It's pretty hard. Knock out what? On the double light. Well, on the not the double light, doing the light. You want me to hold it again? Oh, I got it. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's fine. It's all right. It'll stay straight up. Okay. That was the hardest part done. All right. We take cycles or not? We're gonna see. Whenever we. It's all the same. May have to get a new ball for it. So the igniter in this light was bad. So I don't know if the bulb was cycling. We'll, we'll see tonight whenever it comes on. I'm not sure. If it does, it'll be easy. You, you can still find them. So if I get another one, it'll last a while. I'll have to buy one for a while. Get the other screw. Clean install. And no water can get in it. I don't really like the world people who can get water in them. Cause it's, it's, it's this. this thing's been sitting in the back room for about almost, uh, I think a year. A couple months. That building light, that billboard light I got, it's been sitting there for a while too, but we're gonna, we got a use for it. I'm talking my camera just in case you want to know. Ooh, that screw is stripping. Let's get the bulb now. Let's get the bulb. See, let me show you this bulb. This bulb is... I'm not sure. Here, if you look, you can see, if it won't focus, you can see this little black, the arc is blackened and there's little black pieces. So, I mean, it'll, it'll work, obviously, but I don't know if it cycles. Which, if it does, that's an issue, but... Alright. Did that take a long time? Nope. It did. Right, let's go get my. Let's go get my. 
screws. I I wish everything was just flathead. Phillips head stripped too easily. Phillips head is stripped too easily. Screwdriver. Stupid. I got the wind head to finish the install. I got hooked up to a separate photo cell that used to be to the street light number two over here. The uh, LED one. I'm seeing this bulb cycles because the igniter was bad when I got it, so I don't know if it cycled. And I think it's good with that. That's starting to go bad too. So I guess you wonder what happened to this street light. This fluorescent one, the ballast was bad in it. So I completely removed it and now I'm gonna convert the ballast to LED. I'll hook it up 120 so I can it can take an LED bulb. So that one's in out service for now, and this one it's gonna be operating with it whenever we get that one back working. This cord is not proper for this light. It don't have a ground, but should be all right. All right, we're gonna leave it running because hey guys, we uh, lights up a bit more than I. Holy oh, moly, that thing is bright. Now you can't tell me an LED is better than this. I mean, despite the orange, but I love high pressure sodium. It reminds me of that rest stop. Reminds me when you stop at rest stop and there's those high pressure sodium building lights. You can see the lights up pretty good. You really can't see it. Lights up basically all around here. Pretty bright. It doesn't cycle, uh, which is good. It lights up like all around here. Lots of that tree. This thing is very well good. This thing's actually good. I mean, that thing is bright. It like throws light all around everywhere. You can see, obviously, you don't, you can't really see color in it, but you know those are blue. Yep, let me make sure that photo cell ain't overheating. I doubt it will, but safety, safety. Nope. Alright guys, 